punt away. Well, there's a method of dealing with this because this isn't the, the old keeper light. This isn't any mana leak where a man gets left behind. Uh, so on the side of NIP, especially, like, the ability to run you down Rain is going to be there. The Stampede definitely allows you to escape indefinitely, though. That's, I, that's another option, and we have seen a couple teams play around with this hero, especially in conjunction with the PA, and it's got to be said, I know it's the obvious point, guys, but this is now a lineup which is going to Roche incredibly fast. Like, any kind of a pickoff, 15 minutes and onward, now gives Vega the potential to, give, to go straight into the Roche pit. You, you do have the haunt as NIP, but it's something that needs to be constantly on your radar now. I mean, this is the case in point that you can actually go into the Roche, not even necessarily need the Desolator complete, right? Once you got the level two, right, two coup de exactly. gras, you can actually Roche on the side of Vega. No, and, it, and it, it, again, small point that we've talked about before, but bears repeating here that because of the changed armor, each point of armor is just a little bit more significant in 720 than it used to be. And that means that any minus armor ability is now just a little bit more powerful. That place is food for four in this type of game. And I think the worry right now that I'm seeing is Vega are coming at Ninja the Pajamas rapidly. And we said about the Spectre, we said about IG Heroes in previous games, how they've accelerated a lot. Sure. But Spectre wasn't the best example of a hero that transitioned into that well. Well, it's more, you know, you look at how from way, way back, Navi played Spectre. Spectre's a hero that you just have to... You have to set her up in the mid game. You have to put her in position where you're essentially feeding her these haunt kills. And the Brewmaster, it forms a foundation for that, but it does make you cooldown depend. Okay, there's locking down the lane. Again, this is, you know, this Lich Spectre lane, assuming that's what it ends up being, is now something that is going to sustain a lot of the early pressure potential. Other thing I like about Slaughter, by the way, and a trend that we're seeing among a lot of these off lane picks, is that it can still be very active without the blink dagger whether it's the traditional come from behind stat build or even you saw it earlier when a sand king was ahead the option to build these multiple bracers tank up on these initiating strength off laners and just zone the enemy out of the fight very very powerful strategic option and slaughter has it with his sprint he has built-in mobility i was gonna say like he has so much mobility and you look at it right now vega what I'm seeing is a lot of chase. Radiant. A hell of yes, a lot of that. Yes. Puck. And, and even oh more. Oh, God. And there you go. I, I hope, okay, I will say, I hope this is not the support puck again. That did not work out earlier. I don't think it's going to be. I think this is a very good pick for Mage. Now, it's, it's still susceptible for counter picking, but remember the problem we've been talking about throughout the day is that Mage has had trouble giving away these kills in the mid game. And I've talked, I believe this is so important. When you have a player that's having a hard time Five you want to make the game easy and i think that potentially Donna this puck team pick team makes the game very easy for me okay tiny that's one way to try and just match this aggression in the mid game but we did comment on this before because we saw this matchup uh oh, puck yeah puck doesn't get stuck in that now he can phase shift between the avalanche procs yeah absolutely absolutely I, I, I do think it's a good pick. Don't get me wrong. I, 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 like the t I still like Tiny as a hero in this patch, remaining. but I think you're perfectly comfortable now laning the puck in the Tiny. Five you don't have remaining. nearly the kill potential to worry about. And again, you know, part of the problem with this, this Lich, uh, I, I now would lean toward the Brewmaster in the support position, um, although easily you, can, you can easily go both ways with your fifth pick. Those aren't necessarily your traditional roamers, right? So you, you, you're not going to get roamed on as this puck either. And that gives you a lot of confidence, blowing the phase shift to avoid being permissed on by the avalanche. And that tiny kill combo becomes a lot less scary. Definitely agreed. And the thing to watch out for, if this is a cold puck, you'll see it especially, is early on you are susceptible. If you use the illusory orb, you're likely to throw it out to farm and try and harass. And that's where you'll see NIP try and make that jump because you have got the tiny. And if he's on the outer lanes, you can potentially set up. I am... Okay, I like the, the, the Pugnaband's good. Pugnaband's very good. Um, I'm thinking with that Pugnaband, because you definitely do need a tower hitter on the side of NIP. Um, your last pick as Vega is really going to... It's going to change the tempo of your lineup dramatically, right? Because you can still bump this Slardar to the support position and take something greedier and run the puck in the offline. I, I still like 
very high tempo here as Vega. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. I would like to see some sort of early tower aggression coming out. You could maybe... I'm not sure about a Lycan per se, especially with a Lich in there that could ruin things. Oh, for... Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, for Vega. I don't like that at all. The Doom yeah, for NIP, okay. though. And th th this is why you're glad you have that overall last pick, right? Because if you were thinking about something more all any, if you were thinking about, okay, let's just roll with this PA puck as our one, two, that doom really discourages you because now the PA can hit her BKB timing and still get taken out of the fight by the doom. But you still do have the option, again, to, to pivot to puck three and Sardar four and pick a second more hard scaling core. Interesting to see which way they want to go. We have, I remember we used to see the Slardar Doom matchup, and the interesting thing about this hero is with the way Sprint works, if you actually do maximize it, you can get up in the face of the Doom and force him to always target you, and then you just run away. So it'll be interesting to see if they try to play that more aggressive style in the line of, uh, lineup of Vega, but this pick will decide that. The other thing that you could do, you could still... You could still try to snowball behind like a TA here. We saw the TA-PA combo. I, I wasn't necessarily wild about that from Vega yesterday. But it was against OG, so <laughs> it kind of doesn't count. You're going to forgive it. Wait, that wasn't even yesterday. That was the day. <laughs> it's felt... Oh, was it? Oh, oh yeah. Well, yeah, it's yeah, pretty yeah. early for you, right? So it's kind of like, you know, like no, new okay. day. All right. Here's... And they, they are going to pivot around and, and go for the super late game scaling. And I... It's... I don't know, because of all the heroes that... Spectre doesn't really need to worry about anybody going to late game. Let's be frank. I mean, Spectre, does Spectre directly counter Medusa? In some sense, yeah, because Spectre can build a defusal. But, I mean, Spectre is just king of the late game, whatever you do. And Doom's eventually going to get Refresher. So I, I don't know that that Medusa gives you the late game, as we would be talking about. That would be the narrative in the previous patch. But, remember... In 720, Medusa can now go these four Wraith Band plus Treads build. She can get online and be a threat to push towers a lot earlier. And so I think Vega remain. are looking for mid-game aggression, even with this Medusa pick. It's absolutely. It's about that mid-game ramp up, and Dusa is going to be more present. And if you do secure these early Roaches, as we anticipate with the Slada plus PA picks, Expect yeah. to see rapid pushing coming out from Vega, and that is where NIP are going to be forced to respond in a situation where the Spectre might not be ready. Yeah, and, that, and that's where you, you start to think about, you know, potentially getting the Aegis on the PA so that she can be go on, go on anybody in the fights with Abandon. The Medusa is functionally unkillable, and then might, you know, God, if you get to the second Roche and you get Cheese on Medusa and Aegis on PA, this team's going to be a problem. That Roche contest is going to be kind of the fulcrum of this game, I think. Well, there are our lineups, and we are ready to get underway in this best of three. And remember, whoever takes victory out of these three games will be going to the minor. Everything to play for, because if you lose, you're out. I actually really like both of these drafts. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I, I, you have to go nip here, right? Because they've just, they've, they have looked like clearly the second best team in these qualifiers behind OG, but. I feel like both of these drafts have very well-defined synergies that it's pretty clear at each phase of the game what you, what you want to do. The lanes are going to be reasonably strong. I mean, even the support puck, I, I, I think MNT, we're going we're gonna to give them a little bit of a mulligan on that game earlier. You can see what you can do this time around. I mean, they were interchangeable. You could go for the slot R4, but that seems to have fallen off in popularity. Appreciate this hero does need some sort of itemization happening, whereas a puck, well, you've got that yeah. built-in mobility from the illusory orb. Yeah, if it if it were me, I I probably go slug puck three slaughter four. But again, that when you start to get to that level, that is very much about player preference. And and when when an impact player like MNT says, "I want this hero," that's you you give him that. No thought required. Nops. I'm sure he's so friendly about it. Good luck. Have fun, uh, have fun friends put in there. Maybe next Aww. time. Can't hate this guy. Don't worry. Salt will come later, guys. Yeah, but will it be him or will it be Peter? Do, uh, do you have to ask? <laughs> do I? Well, I, you know, people change, Alan. People change. No, I, no? I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of Peter. It, it, Peter is in it for Peter. Let's not confuse him with an altruist. But he is a really, he's a really cool guy. Really interesting and intelligent dude. 
very capable bringing together this new squad and NIP. They've been having the ups and downs after how they done the major. Now looking to recover coming into this final game of the EU Miners. Yeah, and I like this team a lot. I, I really, I like the early season form uh, shown by this NIP squad. They've come together very quickly, but again, it, it, it just, in this environment, especially with going back to the five major format, it just, it doesn't matter how you look in the eye test. It's how you do in this series. Are you earning those big spots? You know, it's, you are only as good as, as your last event. It's, it's great that you looked good at the KL Major. So what? Things can change, especially with big patches as they arrive. And that's the way it will be after every Major. He's laying Saxa, just scouting out before he does go bot. And 33 did eat the range creep to begin with. He cut through and launched that up straight away. I, and I'm, I, and I'm, I'm just going to warn you guys, my co-caster as well as chat, I am going to pick on this support puck a little bit because it's, it's, <laughs> he's, he's going to, like, like you see, he's going to eat a lot of harass there when he do, does choose to commit. And it's very, very big for them they get a, that they get a contribution. I thought it was going to be him in the three roll. Well, the good news is at least it's not the Frost Shield because if the Frost Shield was being leveled, then you would always be defensive. Oh, and, oh that means he's going straight back to top. Yeah, he's going to swap and... There are fairly tanky radiant laners here. I don't know that the wrap is going to do you any good. TPD though. He's done the half HP. He's been pretty aggressive. The dagger connect. Maybe next time lose your all through. PPD will be the first blood. Looks like. Can they get the final touch? Eventually, no. maybe no. No, he's going to salve up. Oh, he's going to salve up in the tree. The drunken no, brawler turn, though. They pays off as he makes his escape, but it won't change the outcome in the end as the yeah. first blood goes to where Pex is. That that was that was clever by Peter. It was a nice attempt, and it was very it was very key. They recognized in making that rotation that he was down to forty percent health from the harassment in the lane to begin with. That's what made that play happen. They're not killing that brewmaster even with three heroes there from full health with a salve on him. That is the case, but I guess the good news you can look at is they were forced to give the kill to Pexu, whereas you prefer yeah, to have exactly. that on the puck. Inti gets Zilt, she gets Nard. In the meantime, they have left Kezu alone in this bot lane. It should be a little bit difficult for him to aggress hard, though, because that is kind of the catch with the Spectre pick, is it doesn't necessarily offer you this kill potential. Well, but an early red flag, and again, these CS totals can change in a hurry, is that the, radi the three Radiant cores are the top three CSs on the board. It's going to be a problem. You can't really afford to come out of these lanes behind NIP's lineup. We talked about this puck. We talked about this PA. Slardar combo and how they need to come online quick. Look for quick roaches. You know, D Dota Plus is it has its problems, but it's not completely crazy. If there's a reason it likes Spectre. If Spectre is ahead at any point in the mid game, it is not good. I, I, I wondered whether they were going to stay in this tri lane top. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm worried that you end up resource starved here. I mean, MFT is still level one on this puck. Yeah, Puck definitely needs levels. At the same time, if Doom is out leveling you, you're in a lot of trouble. Especially seeing he's actually got that unholy aura. Look at the regen. Exactly. That all and that camp, I think that all went to went to 33. Yeah, he's got Very 18 lap. This, this is okay. Again, early CS totals. Take with grain of salt, especially involving neutrals. But this is starting to get concerning. On the mid is bad as well because what happened there is there was a regen rune top, Father did toss mage back, claimed it. Which meant that he's got a lot more mana yeah. to work with than mage does right now. And he can aggress a lot harder. Oh yeah, and, he, and he's going to have a level advantage too. It's already built in the head to you. There you see it. This tri line on top has just got to get more done. I mean, how do you, though, with that Unholy Aura? I think you just have to abort. You can't run a tri lane yeah. with that Unholy Aura on them. I agree. I mean, we... Uh, I, 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 MNT is one of my favorite players, has been since the Boston Major, but we've got to get something out of the support puck, whether, whether it's a... I mean, it, you're in such a bad position, though. Because yeah, the, still the got south. Core, the laning cores on the side of NIP are just... They'll just stabilize. Not They'll be fine. At this point. I mean, the Spectre should be the one you should be starving out a little bit. This is against the tri lane and and and, and Brew is like yeah, Let's speak of the brute. Walking up and hitting Moder in the shadow of his own tower. Yeah, they actually almost lost MNT as well. He's got a salve. He might have to give it over to Madara instead. <laughs> That's a harsh choice, but he has to make it. Him on the bot. They're trying to chase the Mikezu, but this is what I was saying. It's actually very hard to find the kill. She can at least zone him out. And he's out of regen already. 
in time for the shrines. All right, there's Hexu making use of the fact that that's the other problem is that putting MNT on the puck shifts Pexu onto this coddle and and as as red hot as MNT has been on this hero. Oh, I'm man. also seeing problems for Pexu. He needs to get the hell out of here. He needs to well, go for a TP opportunity. You know, he's also got 388 movement speed with only brown boots, so <laughs> my finest creation. I think PBD could have got him there, but he just actually wanted to make sure he got the Banya rune and he will get the D ward as well. Well, and, and the other thing is is you know, there's just no reason to force plays as NIP at this point. You you are fine with the status quo. The only way that Vega is getting back in this early game is is if you make some mistakes. We find kills on Ace, maybe but that's a hard ask. He'll be fine here. Slivering Crush doesn't land, and I think you're right. Like he didn't have to force a kill there because look at the look at what it causes. Pexu had to TP back to base and run out, and he won't be in time to save Vendara's life. Yes, yeah, sir. And not only that, but it is gonna be oh, Madara. Oh, goodness. I mean, I think it's you, fair. You go on ace bottom, you get immediately frost shield. That's like a get out of jail free part, free card at this point in the game. And then. Mm. I, I think it's fair to highlight. I mean, we're six minutes in. You know, this doesn't decide the outcome of the game right now, but it's, it's looking a grim. Gold lead at six minutes. Exactly. This will get more and more disgusting as it goes on. Look at PBD's positioning. He's not feeling friend at all. Especially with the creep wave coming in. If they jump on him, the 33 makes the move as well. I mean, this top lane is just so good. It, uh, it's... See this. So tanky. I mean, that's the catch, it, right? It, it, it's not just the... It's not just the tankiness. It's the tankiness coupled with the, the potential for aggression. And I really do feel like that on Holy Or... Like, getting that set to creep changed yeah, any outcome in lane. This is unwinnable now. I say I'm winning. That, some, winning. some people are gonna say that's fair, but you can actually add the words from pro players' mouths. The reason they want to pick Doom, the um, reason they did at times is because if you find that sad dick creep, you're practically unkillable. And now with the new Devourer, especially, yeah, you get that regen regardless. I mean, it, it, you may not be able to hold on to any individual ability like a like a Dark Troll Net, but man, I mean, this unholy aura. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All he has to do is keep eating all these melee and range creeps, and he gets the regen from that. And the other side effect is you've seen PPD, he's on this brawling hero. Well, he's going to regen up as well because of it being an aura from the Sate creep. Oh, yeah, that's what's... Okay, duh. So he's he's eating the... Of course, I'm so dumb. Yeah, he doesn't have he's to eating the, He's eating the lane creeps, and he's getting the constant regen from Unholy Aura, and that stacks with the... That's pretty insane. Yeah, okay, look, 22.2 okay. regen. I, uh, I sort of knew what that what, that that was what was going on, but I hadn't quite put two and two together. Okay, that's disgusting. Just typing out the couch player. Ours is here going, I don't see the maps, Absolutely and now I do. thing number two behind Drow that we saw today. Cool. And you can already see MNT's moved away from this lane now. He did pick up the DD in the bot. Toss on the spot, Farda, gonna get him low. Lose your orb, doesn't get away though. Bada sees him because PPD gave vision from the high ground. Puck is... I, I feel like it's, it's, it's too early. That's too early to say, but Puck is out of this game right now. Like, you yeah. can still recover, but you only need someone else to feed you kills. I'm sure I'm getting mega flame for being quote-unquote biased right now, but it's just that with the... With the level of Dota that we have seen overall from this region in now back-to-back -back events, I, I was just rooting for this to be a close series because we've been incredibly fortunate here. I, I mean, look at what Peter can do just by himself on the dire side of the map. He applies pressure to Mage as well on the toss back oh, there. The horn's been used. Do some in full retreat, but where do you go? Really, the clap's going to be to slow you down. Okay. Blinding Great light buys a little bit of time. Is it going to be enough though? They don't care. Silence doesn't matter either. They keep going. Inspector will back off, but PPD dive in the tower like with here. the drunken. No, and they get it. Look at There's this. There's the final tap. Drunken Brawler gives him enough missed chance. He might go down afterwards, but he'll be happy with That's this. That's an eliminate clap. there. They get him, and well, you gave up your do, sir. You all look on the positives, right? Puck needed that. Puck really needed yes, that. He, yes, he absolutely did. Now, it's still... And, and they're going to go right back and shrine up efficiency, farming the camp while they do so. And I, I think they can easily just go pressure a lane right now. They can. 33's almost got the tier 1 top already, and he's just been sitting here solo for a while. They have no way of stopping this either. 
All right, it's it's still early. I you, you can you know the game is kind of your your oyster at this point. You can afford to fall back and get your DVD. Oh, there you go. Oh. That works out. He did have the corrosive haze on him, and well, he rolled the dice. Not sure about that one. <laughs> no, you know the 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 game. Well, it's your oyster when well. you're this far ahead. And he, in fairness, he has and felt pretty damn that tanky. Oyster snaps shut. It took his fingers right off and ah, uh, Pexu. Yeah. The harsh life of the coal. I mean, the desolate radius got nerfed, but it didn't get nerfed that much. They so find the kill, and this is actually free zone for Ace now. With the tower not being here, they'll leave him here to farm. 33 will probably lock the rotate out of here. Heading towards those drums as well, just trying to ramp up that mid-game aggression. Oh, ouch, I, I just clicked over to the net worth, and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It, it's one thing to say it's a 3k net worth lead, but it is, it is evenly spread on the three cores of the NIP side. And your puck is trying to get wherever he can, wherever he can right now. You can see him in the jungle, and there's a reason he has to do this. For him in this game. I mean, there's a reason he has to do this right now as well, because you look at it, and in about five, six minutes' time, Mage is going to just absorb that space. You won't have anywhere. Well, if you don't get the levels, at least. Okay, split used. In the bot lane, they're coming through under the PA. Surround him, we'll look to move away. Thumb will go on to Kezu. Can they follow it up? There's the question. Yeah, quiet enough to threaten the slaughter here. Yeah, there's too many are. heroes. That should need some assistance. So nothing gained there as they realize there's three heroes from the side of Vega in the bot lane here. This is kind of the thing. Despite Madara having a rough start, because you do have that damage amp for the uh, Corrosive Haze. I mean, it, it's not about Madara having a rough start, though, at this point. It's about the fact that you're effective with playing 4v5. This puck, Bada. he's going to use his first coil and Tiny just stands there. He doesn't care. He's going to move away now. They'll be able to stun. Nope. Toss across. It's 33. It's your prop now. Doom comes straight out, though. Here's nice. Can't do anything now. On the side, they're looking at Mage. They surround him all sides. Sacks oh are going to get low, but not low enough. Mage is going to Mage's gonna go down. They chase him through. Ace looking for this. Slada gets low. MNT is going to go down as well. Spectre dives the tier two, finds himself a double kill, and on the side, 33 will clean up the fourth kill. And we are in full route mode here. This is, this game just got so, so hard. It, it, it's, it's awkward, right? It is awkward to get out of that situation without giving up at least two kills, but four and towers getting more and more worrying. I mean, we said Vega, they were drafting away that they want this early aggression, a quick rush, and well, they're losing control of the net worth, and slowly but surely, they will start to lose control of the map now as the items come out that enable NIP to push towers. All right, and I'm going to stop talking about the support puck, but it's it, it, he is... They count on MNT to make so many plays for this team, and when he's on a hero that's just... He's not into the game yet, hasn't been at any point. It just... It saps so much of, of, of your will as a team, especially when, when you've had such a long day already. It kind of puts everything yeah. in perspective when your puck is building braces hey. and Pex who's dying in the river. Abuse. I saw that, Fata. <laughs> Careful you don't meet him at events, Haas. Oh, dude, he's, <laughs> he's a cool guy. I actually wish he, I, I wish he would talk more. He should do some time. He's, he's got good. a lot of interesting perspective. Oh, Peter. BBD. In a little uh -oh. bit of trouble here, bottom Madara lane. Madara got baited in, actually. Coming. He needs to get out. And they get there quick enough. There's a long TP. They didn't let Fata go in first. The Avalanche there. Signs for MNT. Finally going to try and make his escape. The toss on the spot, though. Lose your Just in time. A little bit too close for comfort, though. Yeah. <laughs> Head shake. I think, that's a, I think that's a shake of relief, not a BM there. Yeah, Kezu up top is is just going toe to toe with Ace, and Ace even with the corrosive haze on him doesn't particularly care. He's just trying to slow him down because this Spectre, this Spectre, we're not even 15 minutes in the game, and it's top net worth of almost 7,000 gold. I mean, I look at this puck building bracer. That's what I said. Like he had to grab it because yeah. he's so squishy, and they're not scared of him. If he jumps in on them, even if he silences them, they immediately turn around, hit him in the face. If you commented on the bracer and I just repeated it, I'm very sorry. I'm just racking my brain with a way that Vegas You're trying to figure out a way back into this game. It's, I, 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 you know, you don't want to call a game over, especially at this level. Oh, 33. No, he found the Dusa. Yeah. Mage is not getting out of this in one piece. That is for sure. They're just going to run through his dream call use, but it won't stop him getting the kill. Now it's the green crush. Didi on Farnock wants to move in. Chainfrost going to come out. Kezu being slowed up. Move across with the punches. 
Trying to stay alive. The Shrine will keep Kezu up for the time being, but they can lose Pierre in the meantime. MNT will make his escape, but Kezu, he might not be so lucky. Avalanche going to be there. No Slivery and Crush opportunity. They zone him out. He'll stun one, but he can't stun the others. Okay, this is getting into the territory of at what point do you go game two? This is so... It's it's so hard a game for Vega to play right now. And, and at this point, at the end of a long day, I, I think you give it one more fight, but... Now, people were going to say, ah, Alan's been defeated, but no, you, you're not wrong in this state that it's the first game, it would suck to go down one game already. But when things don't work out in a lineup that needs it to work out, like when you have this puck and you, you grab the PA like this against this lineup, there's going to be a point at which you are just beating yourself up. And right now, yeah. Vega are not taking any gains out of these uh, these fights. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you just kind of, you kind of outthought yourself in the draft. I... I I don't really mind the individual heroes, but I think you, you took a big gamble putting this puck as a support, and it just doesn't pay off. And that's just, that's just sometimes, that's the way risk works, guys. I think a big chunk of this is they didn't anticipate the Doom, they definitely didn't expect him to get the Unholy Aura, and now the toss back, Avalanche on Pexu. They'll chase through, the big stump of Fada will enable Sax to get the final touch. And I, I give you credit, you were, you were ahead of me on the Unholy Aura, except from the start that that was what was going on. Uh, but when you when you just do the math and and figure out the amount of sustain that they were both getting from that lane, it's also the point he only put two levels into it. He had the option mm -hmm. to go for more if he felt pressured. Instead, he was able to go for this more aggressive build because they had no way of actually forcing him out at level two. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you've seen a lot of Doom. I've seen you don't see Doom play that much so far in this patch, but I've seen Dooms go away from the Max Infernal Blade for exactly the reason that you were just talking about. But here, you're completely unthreatened. And that's part of what allows you to just go solo and chase the Medusa now. Now, this is a good play. This is what we talked about in the potential of Vegas lineup from the get-go. This rope will go down very fast, and it's hard to anticipate that. As and it's I the think. only move, though. It's, it's like they it, have it to is get this. It's a desperation move. Oh, they are yeah, risking now, it all is, yeah, for the ping. Scan coming out. But, I was just about to say, this is the time what? where his NFP realizes. Oh it's wrong. no, oh, Madara! No, he's in trouble. The blow won't save me. Actually, Phantom Strike into the Avalanche. And they say thank you very much. That's down to half HP. We'll finish that one up. And that, uh, that I think, was your play as, as Vega. Vega, well, they got to look at this. Do they feel like out? But they still do stuff on the high ground, but. This is getting a little bit out of control. An 11k net worth lead at 70 and a half minutes inside NIP. They have an Aegis now. It's just a matter of when they want to take these remaining towers because they, they go wherever they want. Yeah, Inspector's got Manta, you know, almost halfway to that Diffusal Blade. You know, she's no longer somebody you can go on. Yeah, the map is just belongs it's closing in. to NIP. It is closing in fast and you can already see Vega. They need a little bit more gold. The only move they've got is towards this bot lane. trade. Oh, wow. Good TP in. So it slows down PPD. He has got the split available. And Doom, TP will zone them out. Kezu does use Slivering Crush. Doesn't connect, though. And Tiny is coming in. He could look for the backstab here. We're not game rune. The pings come out. They do see Mage. He hasn't got a TP 45 seconds. Even the Doom used to ensure oh, he can not even gaze. And no one can come to the tower to help. Meanwhile, on the top, Pexu almost dying the ace here. Trying to move away. We'll get caught in the Ignis. But have they got the damage? Dream call down. They go go on him here. But he has the Aegis. So he could still escape. He's going to stand and fight against Madara. Madara, he's going to go down first. Wow. And that. Run away. That has got to send a message. You, the, the way you have to feel after that. That was your best opportunity. You die because of the dispersion. I mean, expected result is expected. That that specter is is now massive for 19 minutes in. I'm fine. I just... Jumping in. There's no threat to them. They don't care about the high ground. They don't care about anything. These are just obstacles in the way of getting more kills. Yeah, the Kezu says it all here, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Need this blink, guys. This will be the big turn. I mean, a blink could be decent here. You did at least get rid of the Aegis, and they didn't get on your high ground. I got a plus 25 damage talent, guys. It'll totally be useful. Nice of him to identify that he won't survive long enough for health regen to matter. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, Maybe next time. Buddy frees the target here. They get enough stuns. 
Mm. Gonna chase through. Oh, there's the Scorched Earth can turn around, but stunned up. He can't even strike back. And though they push him out of the Dream Call. Now, Gaze is going to be used. His final moves in the horns there as well. The damage is huge. They get rid of the puzzle. The Medusa's down as well. Casey with his stun trying to move away, but he won't be able to do it fast enough. As Ace cleans him up as well with the triple kill. Uh, yeah. And every time, every time they try and make these moves, it's like they have to wait so long themselves. But every time, because they wait so long, there's a horn and an immediate turnaround for NIP. Well, I mean, it's pretty hard to go on this deal with this point. I mean, he's got, he's got gigantic HP regen. He's still holding on to the same unholy aura at this point in the game. He's got a crimson. You're just not killing him, man. Definitely I mean, a bulky you boy. You him to like 40% health. Moral victory? Anybody? No. I'm just imagining how depressing it gets if he gets 15 and decides he wants evasion. Yeah, just, just contemplate that for a second. Uh, good luck even getting him past half. And, and now the Vlad's coming out on your five position, Brew. Sure. Having a good time. Because why not? Hard on top. Kezzy. You know Losing a Dota sucks. Oh boy, Kezzy. Oh. This has been Red Puff. This is what Kezzy likes to do when Vega a little bit behind. Just tries to get control of the lanes. The haste coming out for part of the toss back says get out of the tree line. Run for the body block. Slivering Crush has been used. The drums as well. They can just keep on chasing. Uh, that is a very, very dead off laner. Oh. The kisses. Fata has blown more kisses in this game than... Well, okay. Gotta keep the cast PG-13 PG at least. Where are we going? For like one of those uh, fancy stereotypical French girls no, from the movie in the 80s? absolutely nowhere. And this is it's just a matter of time. 20k net worth lead. We're we're almost eclipsing minutes past with thousands of gold lead for the side of NIP. Oh yeah, that's that's the old the proverbial. I don't know. You want to call it the Mendoza line for Dota, but it's definitely <laughs> the point at which you. <laughs> that's Fata. definitely the get the get the f out of my game line. Part is just like, are you gonna keep going? Is this really what you want? Is, how many times, how deep does he have to dive to send this message? What is the big item? Madara, he has got the death slayer now. This is probably the last chance because he won't get enough time to build another big item if they don't win a fight. I mean, it's that Medusa S and Y. That's gonna do it, guys. Oh. I mean, this should be the point at which they'll realize if they can take a fight, they're back in this. That's the fair point. But it can't be the Doom as an entry kill. It can't be the Tiny. I don't think you even want to go on the Spectre at this point. You have to either find the Brewmaster or the Lich. You are also, like... I'm going to be very kind and call it two fights behind. Hey, you know, comeback goal. Big swing with the XP as well. Just imagine you get a kill on the Tiny that's 809 right now. I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to ask myself, is this any different if you, because I spent probably too much talking about time talking about this fuck support and okay, could he have been the three and so I mean, does it, does it make a difference? If Your you issue is still the do. Handle that top lane. That's and the I, thing. I, it's still the. And doom. I don't think it does. I think the big issue is they spent too long trying to do something about the top. When they never could from the get go. Fata because of. Just gonna chase Madara around down here. He's toying with him. And that is a brave TP that will fail. More kisses. Fata's really got a crush on him. And he wants to crush more of them. I love the optimism of Kezu, though. Drawing the line top lane. Let's go get those towers, guys. Let's keep pushing, guys. We got this. It's gonna help Mage farm, but the horn comes out. They move straight in. The defusal on the Mage. Trying for the TP away. Can he actually make it? The Avalanche toss? No! Let's get a two kill for the price of one. Kezu down, and so is Mage. Wow. They, they should be going for the base this time. It just feels like at this point, NIP, they're not committing too hard to the high ground. They're just enjoying playing with their food. Yeah, you know, Fata may not be Dwayne Johnson, but he just turned his boot sideways and stuck it straight up somewhere. He is absolutely taking it to Vega in this game. Uh, it's not going to stop. He moves in. Avalanche the toss back. Says, Madara, where you going? I know the gaze. He can't even attack back. Come on, the give, thinking. Me, give me your best kiss-related memes in chat. Let's go. <laughs> you just want him. 
Oh, it's got you thinking about kids. <laughs> that's an interesting headline in itself. But that's going to be a set of racks. <laughs> yeah, they can go straight for me. I'm just looking right now. It's like MMT is. You see how close he is to this blink? But I don't really see a need for blink when NIP keep stacking up and coming to you. Maybe off the day gone. Screw it. Yeah. Right, if you gotta go down, at least shoot him in the face before you do. I mean, he's just, just he wants to make a play so badly. That's a wow. Go into that roof pit, sure. I mean, I, I mean, you even see the items coming out on the on the supports here of NIP. So, uh, tell me now, Hus, are you gonna start spamming Doom in your games? Is, is, is this convincing you? Absolutely not. I mean. I'm gonna pick it. <laughs> There's no question. I, I I don't think I could live with like just the sheer boredom of being a doom spammer. But you know, if I get some somebody willing to pick some taggy support that wants to lane with me, hell yes, go for it. Heck, doom could have been a four in this game easily. Oh yeah. You I mean, he took it. someone different now as well. Like he says, we got too much regen. We need some attack speed now. Yeah, you think about this purely in terms of laning combos, right? I mean, does, does does Doom 4 really give you that much less? No, it's just a matter of if you think you need some items on him early, which did make him unkillable. Yeah. Like a four of Doom would be good, but it wouldn't be unkillable. Right. With with I mean, with this with this particular game, clearly Doom's your three, right? I mean, we've already we've seen so much of the template already for how to play Brewmaster in the hard five. You know, Vega gonna try and do something sneaky here. I they tried this cheated. last time, oh, but it's not dear. even there. I'll be able to escape though. That's your two heroes that just blinked away from a solo room after, by the way. Kinda sets the mood, doesn't it? But they... I set the mood all by himself. And the lit dinner. And who will be the uh who will be the diner with him for the evening? Will it be the Dusa? Can he solo this Dusa? I actually think he can. He will top, Horn coming in. Okay. They look for a kill, they find on a PBD, he based him out. Ace oh will find the kill, Nikezio and Madara will just TP away. He says that's a no-go. They almost kill Petsu with the illusions alone. And on the bot, they do make their move finally. The assistance of Ace, they bring down the Dusa. And keep it light. Actually, he almost got sniped out there by 33. This is beyond ridiculous. And Vega are a glutton for punishment. Mage can buy out and contest one more time. Uh oh, maybe next time. Now the Ignis going down, forces Tiny to look, be so strong. The gaze being used. He's forced to look here. The combo is decent, but have you got the damage to follow through now? Jane Frost doesn't bounce too much. Mage stunned on the spot, trying to move away. And they don't even lose half their HP pool from what looked like a beautiful setup from Vega. 33. That tickles. If you come out of the base now, you're done. You, you see the potential of the Vega draft. Bardo wants to turn around, but he has no mana. They, they're going to stab Pegtu here. Oh, yeah, you're absolutely Doom, so. they're going in now. Dusa has no way out. He just stands on the spot. Let it end, he says. GG comes out. There you go. I mean, game probably should have been called 10 minutes ago, but it is an elimination series, to be fair. I, I get wanting to play out your draft, at least giving yourself a fight. Uh, that, it's tough. It's, it's absolutely tough. And I hope that, again, it's the end of a long